Hello, this is Mystery of Cheese. And I'm Double Kid. And this is our review of the Mezco 112 Collective Warriors action figure set. And there it is. I guess I should say the Warriors. Oh, damn it. I got a little. Let's pretend that's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix it. Yeah, fix it. Because <laughs> we were already looking at them. But. Warriors is just one of the movies that I've always liked ever since I was little. My dad would play it when I was little. And I just, it's just a cool movie. It's very weird. It's, it's like. It's ridiculous in the best way. <laughs> yeah. It's set in the future, but still looks very, very 70s. <laughs> like everything about it looks 70s. It's just in the weird cartoonish comic book type characters they got in the gangs. It's just ridiculous. It's just. And so many memorable lines from it. I just think it's a very iconic movie. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted figures of them. And they have made some figures. It's just that they're stylized and things like that, which is cool. But I would just like some realistic looking figures of them. Yeah. And now finally we're getting some realistic figures of them. And they look pretty damn awesome. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them just because it's so much looking at... The set of them, the price tag's kind of high, but when you split them up, they're actually a little bit cheaper than just buying like four of them, four Mezco figures, just a little bit. So you're actually getting a little bit of a deal. And you get this really freaking cool tin. Which I didn't even know it came with this tin. It may have been listed in the description, but when I open up the box, I'm like, "What? This tin is awesome!" Yeah, I really like it. No, I do like to display some boxes. That we have a figures, but this is one where I definitely want to put it somewhere because it's like it's metal, like if you have like a metal lunchbox. It's not a lunchbox, but I mean it's. It's along the same lines of like wanting to put it up somewhere. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's got the uh, I'd say that's one of the main images you always see, and uh, this is on shirts and posters and stuff. One thing that always bugged me about the images is it just has some of the characters at a point in the movie. Some of the main ones aren't in this picture. But, I mean, that's just one of the main images they've always used for the movie. So it makes sense they put that on there. And there's some Mezco toys. These are the armies of the night. 112. And the warriors on that side, which looks cool. I love their, their symbol, their word, or whatever. In the back, you can see the figures. They're in the box. Swan, Ajax, Baseball Fury, and Baseball Fury Leader. Yep, let's start opening this up. Notice that the thing was on the top that was kind of sticking out. Here's their little paper that I don't even know what it says because I don't feel like reading it. <laughs> Here's the top layer. You got Swan and Ajax. Swan is the leader. Well, leader after the leader gets killed. And then Ajax, who's like the, the muscle of the group. And the decade of the group. And if any of these are spoilers for you, then that's your fault because this, this movie came out a long time ago. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> and you pull that out, and then there's the second layer, which is two of the baseball furies. Which that's probably one of my favorite parts, if not my favorite part of the movie, is the baseball furies scene. They're pretty cool. I like they're ridiculous. <laughs> we're a gang. We walk around in baseball uniforms with our faces painted. It's so weird because you would think a baseball player gang, they would not be scary. But somehow they're like, there's like this weird Marilyn Manson like scary baseball guys. It's just weird. They're like creepy. Yeah, it's. They don't talk. They just. Duh, they're just odd. I don't even know how they would come up with that. And then there's the third layer, which is the bases and little arms, and uh, I guess it looks like there's little multiple, baggies. yeah, multiple bags to put them in. But let's start opening these up. Okay, so there they are, opened up with all of their accessories, and look at all that shit. That took a minute to get all. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's just a pile of arms and claws back there. Plus, we got sidetracked trying to remember everybody's names from the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about who they should make next if they do. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can see all their stuff. They all come with multiple hands. These three come with alternate heads. They each have a bat. 
and what uh, Ajax comes with the handcuffs because he gets handcuffed to a to a bench or something. The uh, undercover cop lady tricks him. They, they each come with a Molotov that There's warriors do. One that's lit, and one that's not. Oh yeah, that's cool. And then there's a knife, and then his bat is wrapped, and we're assuming it's his bat because in Mezco's pictures they show the bat in his hand, so I'm guessing that's his. Yeah, and I looked up pictures of uh, the leader from the movie, and his bat wasn't wrapped in the movie. And they each come with a base, like Mezco's 112 bases are always pretty awesome, at least on the figures we've got by them so far. But there's the Warriors. Not disappointed by that. No, that, that looks good. That is really cool. And the Furies, which that's pretty cool too. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one of the things where there's a bunch of characters I'd just like to have in six scale form, and I'd really like to have him. If I can only have one character from the Warriors, it would be him. Yeah. Even though he gets his ass kicked, and his whole team gets their ass kicked, and they, the Warriors call them pussies <laughs> after they beat him up. <laughs> they were still cool and creepy. <laughs> Before they got beat up. But man, they they got their costumes down pretty well. They got his tank top, and he's shirtless. And I really do like that he comes with both heads, because he, he looks mm -hmm. creepy in that when he's making that face, and when he makes his like sort of growling face. Looks creepy. And him making that snarling face is like an iconic scene in the movie. Yeah, that's often on like posters and shirts and things that are still sold today. Some of those sites sell those nostalgic t-shirts. I need a warrior shirt. I've looked them up several times. And... They usually have that picture from the front of this case. Yeah, and like, I do like that picture, but it's just like, I'd like something different, because that's yeah. on everything. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll look at the figures. And one of the coolest things about them is the back of their jackets. They got the, the, uh, the patch, or whatever you want to call it. That looks so good. Yeah, that I'm is I'm very really awesome. impressed by their vests. They look really nice. I like that they kind of feel like a leathery material. And they fit them really well. Yeah. The head sculpt are so good. It looks like him. Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing that was funny was when we started watching Dexter, I kept seeing, like, Dexter would have flashbacks to his dad, and eventually he'd have the visions of his dad talking to him and stuff. And I was thinking, that guy looks so familiar. Where is he from? And I remembered, he's... Ajax from the Warriors. I looked it up. And He's it, the dickhead guy. Yeah. So Dexter's dad is Ajax from the Warriors. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> That's why he messed him up. But he, this guy is probably the biggest dickhead on the Warriors team, and I would say he's probably the most, I don't know, criminal, evilish on their group. Mm -hmm. If you think of the Warriors as good guys, he's probably the... He's not. Yeah. But he's still a very memorable character, and I like his character in the movie. Yeah, and he's... he's oh. uh, like, even out of the Warriors, he's one of the main ones. Yeah. They focus on a lot. But, uh, one thing funny is the Ajax is like the muscle, but he's not that muscular. Every All the gangs are pretty skinny. Yeah, he's it's not that he's that muscular, it's just that he's overly willing to punch things. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's the muscle. And here's Ajax next to his other head. His hair looks a little neater here. I think that one looks less like him yeah, somehow. Yeah, I like this one. The one that's on him better. Yeah. I'll put it on just for a second, but I know I'm going to keep the other one on. It looks like Justin Bieber. I mean, that'd be cool if you... <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool if you got him, like, fighting and stuff. That's, that's a cool head for that, like, punching or something. But, yeah, I think I, I prefer this head. Yeah, I definitely like that one better. That one just looks so good. Mm -hmm. And this reminds me of one of my... Favorite lines from the movie when Ajax is about to fight one of the baseball furies. But he says, I might get the quote a little bit wrong, but he says something along the lines of, I'm going to take that bat, shove it up your ass, and turn you into a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> I always, always remember that. I'll shove that bat up your ass and turn you into a popsicle. If I ever made a movie, I need to have... I would want some lines, memorable some lines. Some real like good one-liners, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then here's Swan, who becomes the leader after was it, Cleon gets killed. And he's, I would say he's hes the main character, yeah. if there was one. And uh, that looks like him. He always reminds me of Patrick Swayze a little bit. 
Yeah, kind of. You see the back, got the patch on there too. They did a nice job on his hair. I mean, just the sculpt, I mean, it looks so good. Like the actor, it's like Hot Toys quality almost, just scaled down. We said that before about Once Off Collective Figures. Yeah, they're very, very good. They make me happy. I guess we can switch some heads. Well, you can see the two heads next to each other. This is very. He looks a little angrier, squinting his eyes. He's got a little cut or something little on his cheek. <laughs> he got punched. His hair is a little messed up. Somebody flicked him in the cheek and now he's got a boo boo. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I love that about these figures. It's so easy to switch the parts, but doesn't. They don't fall off, but it's easy to switch them. It's, and they also, like, seem like they're not going to break super easy like some things do. Yeah. I will say, though, with the overall look of these figures, one thing that does kind of bug me with these two is just where the neck connects to the torso. It just stands out a lot right here. Yeah. It'd be nice if that could blend in a little more, but I'm not sure how they would do that and still keep it poseable. I mean, maybe for these two figures... The necks could have been attached and not movable, and they just move it to the top of the head. That may have been better. You get a little less articulation, but might look a little better. I don't know. But yeah, that head looks cool. I think I prefer this one, though. Yeah, I just. It's more how I remember him looking from this in the movie. Yeah. It doesn't start looking rough till the end. And now I look at the Baseball Furies. And you got this Marilyn Manson looking guy. That's what it always makes me think of, just because of his black lips and his uh, skinny long face. Oh, you know who else he kind of looks like? Is that a big dude from The Misfits. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of him. Yeah, I can't remember his name. It's like Wolfgang or something weird. <laughs> Man, it looks so good. Look at the logo on the back. That's something I almost I wanted to be for Halloween, but it was too hard. I looked up costumes. And, and I also looked up costumes to try to make a custom six scale, and it was... There was there was stuff that's coming up, but not not close enough. But this will do if we never get a six scale. Mm -hmm. Man, he looks good. The hat's not removable, but that's fine because I don't think his hat really comes off. I don't remember it coming off, so I don't want it off. Yeah, so. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm fine with it being on and not removable. He got his shoes. Oh, Nike swoosh. Is that what? Is that a Nike swoosh for real? Looks like it. I mean, did, they, did Mezco actually get the rights to put a Nike symbol on there? I don't know. <laughs> well, if they didn't get permission, let's not call them out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not... I Nobody tell Nike. <laughs> I don't think it's the exact shape. I think this... It's definitely, was, that's yeah. what it's definitely supposed to be. I tell. Think. But, I mean, the stripe, the pinstripe suit looks so good. The underneath shirt... Which symbol on the back looks nice. No, no, I like that a lot. I want a baseball figure shirt. <laughs> We're going to be in trouble if they keep making Warriors figures, because we'd probably buy all of them. I know! There's so many I want! <laughs> I think at the end of the video we're going to talk more about mm -hmm. other ones we want, because I know there's more. I like this little black spot. That's one of the characters I would I want to dress up with Halloween, but I'm not shaving my beard, so I would be this guy with a beard. <laughs> Just oh. paint your beard yeah. yellow. <laughs> Switch his head. They're just saying it'd be hard to decide which one we'd want to keep on him. Cause I was saying we could just ditch the red guy's head and put the uh, yeah. the leader's head on both of them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like both of them. I think if I could only have one, I'd probably go with this one. <clears throat> but still, I really like this one too. Yeah. With those two, I know which one I like. Mm -hmm. But this one, I'm not sure. I really like both. I think I do like the growly head a little bit better, but they're both so good. Mm -hmm. And here is one of the Baseball Furies members. I don't think this guy has a name. They don't have a name in a package. He's just the Baseball Fury guy. And he's the leader. That's that's the names. <laughs> they don't mm -hmm. have names. Mm -hmm. They don't really need names since they never talk. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And this guy thinks he's Harley Quinn, apparently. With this red and black flipping back and forth. Harley but, Quinn's my favorite baseball player, too. <laughs> she does use a bat a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, this... He is one of the ones, I would say, that if they made a second one, I'd probably pick him, too, because I just remember the red and black mm -hmm. face. I don't really remember the others without looking them up. 
Yeah, his body's the same from what I could tell. One thing that is cool is their skin color is different. His hands and everything match his skin color, and his hands match his skin color. So that's cool that they're... They could have just made him exactly the same, but they're actually yeah. different. And I think even um, Ajax and Swan is they're very... slightly different, yeah. Yeah, they're just slightly different, too, with the skin color. That is really good attention to detail. Detail. Now, it's been a long time since we watched this. But I remember he gets handcuffed to, like, the park bench. I can't remember if that's the end of him, because I, I think he I think that's how he gets taken out of the movies. He gets arrested, so I can't remember if he actually gets handcuffed like this. But, anyway, there he is. You can see it, what that looks like. So that's pretty cool. I had to pop the hands off to stick that in. So you can see Ajax holding a, the Molotov. I think it's actually Swan that throws one when they're fighting the orphans. Well, they don't really fight the orphans. <laughs> <laughs> they just beat them up because they're pathetic. No, they don't even beat them up. Don't they just throw the Molotov and scare them? Oh, yeah, I got, yeah, they just run away, I think. Yeah, I think the, Mol the Molotovs were wimps. <laughs> they actually, the Molotovs were wimps? I mean, <laughs> the orphans were wimps. <laughs> we, we may have been drinking. <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. Well, still, that's cool to take on with that. And there's Swan with a knife. Which is cool. Hand to hold it. And there's Swan holding a bat. This looks cool. I don't know how the bats are in a movie, but this, this transition from dark to light is odd. I think it's just uh, a bit too dark on the handle. Yeah. Because the pictures I was looking at, the handles are darker, but I think they uh, exaggerated it a bit. Mm-hmm. And if I just looked at that, that just seems like an odd color. It doesn't look like wood. It looks like flesh. Yeah. Man, there's a little more wood cream there. Extra stump arm. <laughs> and here's two other hands. We we're just talking like this looks like it's meant for something specific for the movie. We just can't remember what it is. So I'm kind of saying maybe. I know at some point he's like playing with it. Playing so with the knife. So maybe that that hand is for something he does with it. That might be what it is. I don't know. <laughs> well, we were just looking up pictures of the knife and <laughs> remember that. He, he ends the movie, basically, by throwing a knife into the leader of the rogue's arm. And then, like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, how did I forget that? Yeah. <laughs> that is kind of... If there's, like, heroes talking to other heroes about how they defeated a villain, he's like, how did you defeat your villain? I threw a knife and it hit him in the arm and it went in about an inch. <laughs> and he cried <laughs> on the beach. Like he's a like, big old bitch. <laughs> you threw a knife and it kind of went in his arm a little bit. That's how you beat him? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, and he had a gun. <laughs> and he just dropped it. And his team just stood there and looked at it. <laughs> I mean, they were a bunch of freaking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the baseball furies with some different hands and uh, weapons in her hand. See, so he's got his bat. Looks pretty cool. Gave him a pointing finger and a bat holding hand. It's pretty awesome. And they just got some other varying hands, like uh, the leader also has a pointing hand. And just some relaxed hands and some fists and things. So that's really cool. Uh, they really, they could have just gave them maybe just bat holding hands and that would have been it and that would have been fine. But they gave them all these extra hands and that's pretty awesome. So there they are, all on their bases. Which that looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. The only issue I'd have with these bases, especially if they keep making more, is that you ain't gonna be able to get them to stand very close together. Yeah, they're kind of huge. Yeah. Uh, that's fine with... It didn't really seem to be an issue with the previous figures, because most of those figures were just, like, standalone figures. But these guys are gonna want in a group if they keep making more. Mm-hmm. So, you might not want them all on bases, unless you got a lot of room. Spread them out across the shelf or something. We fight each other from, like, ten feet apart. Yeah. <laughs> But the bases really do look nice. I'm impressed with them. Mm-hmm. Now let's look at articulation. And you can see the head moves around at the neck. It's pretty good. And the shoulders. Goes like that. Up. Pretty good there. Then the elbow. Only goes about 9 degrees. It's not double joint, but it's pretty good. And the wrist. You can move like that. Spin around. 
Then the torso doesn't go back and forth very far, or tilt very far, but spin. Then the hips you can go about that far. Kick out back about that far. Twist there. Double jointed knees. Very good there. And down at the ankles. Ball joint. So it's pretty good articulation. So they come with the usual Mezco arms. If you have Mezco figures, you know how they go. They pop out the peg in the base and you can stick this in. But I don't, I don't even gonna use these for these figures. And of course these bags. I do really like these bags because they're very nice thick Ziploc bags that can help protect your extra parts, which is really cool. Yeah, because we're always like collecting little baggies to keep all of our stuff in for other toys. Yeah. Here's the only other Warriors figure that we got. This was sent to us by Fu Manchu from Fu Reviews. And this was pretty cool. It's a stylized figure. They had a whole line of these. And it's also made by Mezco. But this is way back in, what, 2005 this came out. So I'd say Mezco has a, a love for the, the Warriors movie, which is awesome. See their nice design in the back of his jacket. Actually looks a little better than the, the 112 design. Yeah, it's cool to have a stylized version and a more realistic version. Okay. So I love this set. It is it is so awesome. <laughs> I'm super excited. I've been grinning like an idiot this whole time. This is definitely worth the money. These figures are just so well made. Mm -hmm. And the faces, it looks so much like them. The outfits, they just fit, they fit so well. We didn't even go over like the fit of them. They just, the vest and the pants, they just all fit real good. And on the, the Furies too, the shirt and the uniform, it just does. I would have to say like, not counting six scales with the smaller figures. This is probably my favorite company. Yeah, they they just make such good stuff. Yeah, they're a little more expensive, but there's a reason. Yeah, they're 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 worth that much more. The the, the likenesses are spot on, I'd say. And I like all the accessories they come with. Mm -hmm. The bases are really cool. Like we said, that could be an issue if they keep making figures from this movie because it's going to be hard to display them all together. It's also going to be an issue because of our wallets because we're going to want them all. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> but uh, just about everything about them is awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's say the one minor gripe that we mentioned was like maybe right there around the neck. Right there they look fine. It's just certain poses that neck articulation stands out. looks odd. But that's just a minor thing. I guess. Yeah, it might be kind of hard to fix that. But and I like that they all come with bats and swung cups on knife and they got the Molotov cocktails, the handcuffs, all appropriate things I think they should have included. And I do hope they make more. We were talking about who maybe they could make if they made another four pack. And it's hard to tell. Like I was I say one that I definitely want is the leader of the rogues. Yeah. And I was saying one thing he absolutely has to have and they would I'm almost certain they would include it is you need to have a hand with the three bottles, three beer bottles that he's banging together. And, and if they didn't include that, I would write them a strong letter of disapproval. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how could you not include that? <laughs> that's like some of the memorable quotes and things from that movie. That's one of them where he's like banging them together and it's like, Warriors, come out and play! <laughs> I still say that at random times and like, people will not know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and any of the, the nine Warriors I would want. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's seven. These are two of them, so there'd be seven more. I would want them. I definitely want Cochise. I like him. Yeah, he's I like cool. the way he looks. I'm like with the Indian feathers and stuff that kind of look and then I also like Cleon mm -hmm. even though he don't last too long and you've got that iconic head thing I don't even know what you call that yeah and cowboy just because he has the hat cowboy hat he's not yeah. but I don't know it's, I just I want all the warriors yeah if they made them all I definitely would want them all and you mentioned it'd be cool if they made Cyrus oh yes I would love that another very memorable Scene with him. Can you dig it? <laughs> Can you dig it? 
they have to make him with that big goofy robe on too. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, like, I wouldn't want it to be into a later release, but the leader of the orphans, just because that seems memorable. I mean, there's just so many they can make. We can pose him like he's crying in the corner, because yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how he spent 90% of his life. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, there's pretty much all of the gangs. I want, like, one from each of them. Like, the Lizzie's and the Turnbulls and... Uh, there's a lot of gangs they just showed... Snips of it. They don't actually. No, those ones I wouldn't really want. Just the ones they interact with. Yeah. Like the crazy roller skater bathroom attack people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. Mm -hmm. We're the roller skate gang. <laughs> and they wore overalls and. <laughs> <laughs> overalls and roller skates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just like five year olds, but we're really tough. Yeah. <laughs> There's a gang where they all dress like pimps. Looks like, mm -hmm. but I don't, they don't really fight them in the movie. They just they just show them. Well, I was saying earlier this this was off camera earlier. I actually made Mr. Evil Cheese snort <laughs> because I said they should make the entire gang of the uh, the Turnbulls and their school bus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be like twenty <laughs> figures. And a huge ass bus, would be like two thousand dollars. Twenty one twelfth collective figures and the bus. <laughs> That would be cheap. <laughs> I would want it, though. <laughs> I don't think we would get it, though. I can't even remember what they look like other than... I think they're all bald. I think they all... I think the turnballs all shave their heads. Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah, I really do love this set. And I was... I would have never expected Mesco to make these. When they showed them, I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't believe they're making this. This is so awesome. Well, this is one of those movies that, like... Some of the people I know are like, oh yeah, I love that movie, but like, at least half of people are like, what? What movie? What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's not, it's not as well known. But, uh, yeah, I love it. I love the Warriors. Even the songs in the movie. I have this, uh, the uh, Baseball Furies Chase theme on my iPod. I always have it on there. It's one of my favorite songs. I just love that. And I don't have it on my iPod, but I like the song they're playing at the beginning. When they're showing the title screen and everything, and they show the Ferris wheel spinning. I like that. Just the sound of that. It's just iconic. Mm-hmm. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I love this set. Yeah, me too. If you're a fan of the Warriors, I definitely think it's worth it. It is pricey, but it is so well done. Yeah, this is just... This is ridiculously nice. Mm hmm I'm very happy that we got it. Me too. Did you show off Ajax's belt buckle? Oh, no, I don't think I did. Yeah, he's got the little face on his belt buckle. <laughs> I thought that was impressive that you could actually tell that's a little face. Yeah. Well, I hope they make more. I hope this sells well and they make more. Because I want some more members. To... Mm -hmm. Well, this is Mr. Evil T. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching and goodbye. You gotta use bats to fight, you bunch of wimps. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Glad you came to back us up. No one messes with the Warriors, and especially not me, because I am the ultimate warrior! <laughs> oh damn it man, you see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Ooh.